to my hyper deal. It's gonna go to that pool today. Um, which is probably a bad idea, but my mom suggested it. And, um, the reason why I didn't think it was a bad idea is because, um, I've, well, I'm gonna talk about something gross, so it's not appealing for you people. For those, those for you who have experienced Crohn's disease or ear bowel syndrome, you might relate. Um, since I've gotten sick three weeks ago, um, I've had uh, IBS like every other day, every day uh, for the past three weeks now. Um, it's not even every other day. It's every day. Wake up, flare up. Wake up, flare up. Or a night, flare up, flare up, flare up. <laughs> And it's getting really bad, and I'm going to Florida with my mom and Sammy on the 26th, and I really don't want to have flare-ups every day when we're going to the parks and, I mean, Universal and stuff. Um, so, uh, I have a doctor's appointment on the 19th, and I canceled, well, mom went to lunch in today, and I was supposed to go, but I was afraid because of my flare up and um, she said I should get out today and go to the pool and even though the pool, though the pool has a bathroom in the, our community pool here I'm kind of like eh because I already had a flare up uh, half an hour ago so but I'm playing it by ear I'm gonna um, charge my cell phone up so um, while I'm at the pool I don't have a dying battery on my phone and still feeling nauseous so I'm not slight debatable you know and I can't take Sammy out cause my neighbor the room I did I, I don't know if the video is still up but I have a neighbor and called them the room um this side of my street was supposed to um get these like I think they're called uh escapes or something and it's like bricks for your gardening area so like around your gardening area so we we're supposed to get them tomorrow but they're postponing it until I think next week when it's not raining and no made a special case so he's getting his done today and a lot of people are kind of annoyed by that so because the gnome has the escape people and the gar landscaping people. Mm, I can't take him out because he's going to want to bark and growl and eat the landscapers. Then I got my neighbor over here on this side um, who feels the need to let her cat out. And the cat likes to hunt on our property. So, <laughs> um, so now I can't let him out, sit Sammy out to over here. It's gonna want to eat landscapers, and I can't let him out because of the cat over here that hunts on our property for, for uh, mice and shit. So it's like, um, Sammy is screwed today, and it's a nice day. Well, it might be too hot for him. It's, um, why do my lips always look blue when I do this? But it was, anyway, it's 70, 77 here, but you can't really tell because it's windy, so it's not like it's hot hot but um I was concerned about that then if it was gonna be hot because they walk in me every day mm, there he goes I walk in me every day because um he doesn't go poop in my backyard uh anymore it gets easily distracted so now I have to walk him down the street to make him go poop <laughs> right before dinner and it's like Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, he's barking on step, so it's going to be hard to do video. Um, I'm going to close it all up. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I have my readings to do on, now I have to charge my phone. I got my fit tip all charged and ready to go. Um, else? I was talking to a few new people on, um, Plenty of fish, subs, um, including Bigfoot, but he 
disappeared and so either while I was talking to him his wife wife or girlfriend caught it and now he's in trouble or he what really was single and now he has somebody else um that likes all the shit and he's dating somebody new or whatever and this is when he ended up being single because you have, you have to wonder you know um you have to talk about talk to new people and then wonder why the fuck did they just drop out of nowhere you know and you wonder about all these scenarios maybe it's this maybe it's that and really they're probably just a huge asshole and they want to like disappear or some shit. I don't know. Um, I w then I was talking to a nerd, a new guy. I thought we'd head it off because I'm a nerd. But, um, we were texting each other, um, during, uh, last week's, um, show of Supernatural because he liked it too. And, um, there is a character named Jack who is the son of uh, Lucifer, you know, but an um, a mortal woman, or, you know. So he was getting good, and then after a while, he started to veer off into evil town. And I told uh, the new guy, it seems like uh, Jack is evil. So you know what I did? He did. Sent me nothing but this dictionary um, definitions to prove to me that evil, being evil and so is not really evil, um, you know, it's just that you can't control on your powers and, you know, and I'm trying to tell him, um, being evil and so is, it basically is being evil, you know, I've seen it in people, you know. I've seen people, you know, get drunk just to lean on something, you know, to make them feel better about themselves. And after being drunk so many times, they, they either take your money or they lash out on you for no security, for no other reason other than losing control of who they once were, once were and being buried themselves in alcohol or drugs and um i'm trying to explain to him why i said that and he's like i just told you what it was he was getting the ass and he kept sending me more different uh dictionary definitions so there was a thing on my phone that said um yeah like you can hit if it's a spam button and i did and I guess that really works from for T-Mobile because I never heard from him yet. Then there was another guy um, I talked to on Plenty Fish. I thought I can relate to him more because uh, we're both artists and uh, he has experienced some weird stuff. And I've experienced some weird stuff. And I'll get to that in a minute. So, um... So then, um, he shows me his tarot cards, and he's got, like, Alistair Crowley, um, tarot cards, and it's, like, two snakes intertwining with a clock, and I told him, yeah, I don't really, not really into tarot cards, because they give me nosebleeds, and he's, like, what, like, cryptic, and I was, like, yeah, I'm not the only one in, in uh, who, who has them? I have ants that are like that too. They can't look at tarot cards without like getting nosebleeds. So, um, I'm like, I uh, was talking for the on and, uh, through that night, and I just took it, I just went came in the shower and I came out. I'm like, why is my nose leaking? And looked down on my towel that I wrapped my cell phone around, and there was like, big blood spot and then I look feel my nose and my nose is bleeding like excessively um like really bad um so I freaked out because there was I've had nose bleeds before but this was too much you know so I told my mom about it she kind of like stayed with me until it finally went away but that freaked me out 
because I kind of wondered if it was because of the tarot cards I got shown me. So, um, you know, I know he, Alistair Crowley was a psychic, but I think he was a bad person too, so, and I, I pick up on vibes like that. So, um, next day, I got to text me again and I started getting that whole, my nose was getting wet, you know, I was getting a migraine. And then I just did that, that button for, you know, um, like I did the other guy and I didn't hear from him again. Um, again, and I just felt, started feeling a little better again. It's weird. Um, yeah, I pick up on, up on vibes. Um, if you don't believe in that, um, this is something I do. It's probably why I'm single, but in a way it helps me uh, avoid dangerous or fucked up people. So, <laughs> um, for me it's good, but, you know, maybe it's not so good. I don't know. Or um, speaking of weird stuff. Um, this past Sunday, um, I thought it was just like, um, Sundays it's hard for me to go, but Sammy has no problem. He will, he'll wake me up like four in the morning, nibble my nose, trying to get me up. And he's happy, he's, he, you know, whatever, he's got like a lot of energy. So this past Sunday, uh... I started slowly started to wake up, and I look at Sammy, and he was out cold. He didn't like he was breathing very small, slowly, and he had sleep apnea. But um, but this was like uh, I was worried if he was, you know, gone, um, because he was slowly, slowly breathing, then more than usual with the sleep apnea. So, um, I had to shake him a few times to get him up, and then while he was sleeping, you hear, you see his stomach go up more, and then you just let a big sigh, you know, like, oh, what does she want, you know? Um, it always makes me laugh when he does that. So, I got some coffee, you know, I sat on my couch. Um, there was nothing on TV, so I put it on. The travel town, sometimes they have stuff, good stuff, and sure enough, they had, um, you know, um, all right, so I was supposed to talk about the air in my room. It felt like somebody was, uh, holding me down, because I slept on the couch, and it was hard to get up. Usually it's because, it's been because of the flare-ups they've had it all through the night, that it's horrible to get up. Uh, during the day, but this Sunday it felt like somebody was, you know, holding me down and I couldn't get up like a sleep par paralysis type thing and that's when I noticed Sammy and I forced myself to get up so I can check up on him. Anyway, so I have uh, the travel channel on TV and uh, I'm sitting down a cup of coffee life was good and then they had this thing a uh, ghost story, and they have like videos and stuff like that. Well, my ghost story. So um, I'm watching it, and uh, somebody on TV is talking about how they stayed overnight in a hotel, and it was very hard for them to get up. Like they felt like somebody was um, holding them down, and they felt very drained. And I was like, that sounds familiar. Fuck. So, I took my phone out, um, I found, uh, the recorder part, and then we went all the way down to the hallway of uh, that leads to nowhere. Let me show you. Sorry, this is taking forever, but, <laughs> let me just, I have to explain why. So, it's a living room, Sammy. This is how lunch, she's just taking it out. Okay, so this is the hallway that leads to nowhere. And Sunday, I put the video recorder on my phone, and I left it right at the desk. Then I walked, like, away, even though the TV 
was on. I tried to lower it a little bit, but you still hear it. And I was brushing my teeth. Then I come back. And I go listen to it. And for whatever reason, even though I was like all the way over here in my, my bathroom, you can hear the water running like uh, the recorder was like this, like the water was this close to the phone. You know, it wasn't. And uh, all of a sudden, you started to hear uh, two really scary, fucked up growls. And it wasn't the dog I'm talking about, like something from a horror movie. So, I deleted it because I thought it could have been the TV show where they have recordings of paranormal activity and, you know, videos and such. So, I deleted it. She probably should have done. So, then I, I wanted to try and cheer. So, I left the phone, like, right here. Sorry, that's me ring. Anyway, so I left the phone right here. I uh, take my Sammy Scholar and I'm swinging back and forth, go inside, I put it on him. So it's going to take him out. So I wait for a few minutes. Oh no, so after I did the thing with the collar, I, I have holy water and blessed water, like rose water spray, because my life coach is a minister. And then I, I got the things in my hands, and I just said, said out loud, and I said, you know, I'm just going to shoot the shit here. I, I think that you, whatever is here might be a mean spirit, and if you are, I think, no, I th you need to go. So I said that Archie and Michael Burr. No, I started, to, I used the uh, Blessed Spray first. I spray everything <laughs> with the rose water because my, my life coach, she's a minister and she uh, says, says a prayer and she blesses this rose water. So, um, you know, let's make everything great. Yeah. So I'm spraying everything the hallway and the desk here. I'm spraying in my living room. So <laughs> Um. Now, I walk in here, and then I press stop on the recording on my phone, and you will listen to it. So I got I wish I could show you, but because it's only a video and everything is on my phone, I can't really. But I use it. Well, maybe transfer it on my iPad. Anyway, so I listen to it. You hear the dog collar jingle. You hear myself going, Listen, I think there's a mean spirit. And you hear some, like a spirit, and I'm not fucking with you. Um, say out loud, yes. And it's, that also sounds like a horror movie. So, like two spirits talking together at the same time. <sighs> so I was like, Oh my god, I'm just like so fucked. <laughs> Scared. So I think the holy water this time. And then I stopped the, you know, I switched to, um, stop the recording. I go look it up on Facebook. Large change of Mike Colbert. No. I'm blessing things in my bedroom with the holy water. Come out here. I see scratches on my wall. That's not the dog, because he doesn't scratch the wall. So, you know, I'm in blessing him to the couch. I'm saying the archangel Michael prayer. And I said, after the prayer, but after I blessed the couch, I said, you know, you know, you know okay, you need to go now. And then I say the prayer. And Sam wakes up from a nap, all of a sudden, and... He stares at the wall and starts growling where I, I just put the holy water after I saw the scratches in the wall. So I was like, uh, what is going on? So um, after I blessed everything, um, felt lighter in here. 
And you know it was hard to um, get up this morning. It didn't feel as heavy as it did this past Sunday. But um, I just checked the recording again yesterday and swear to God. Uh, right after you hear the dog jing- like dog collar jingle and our recording, you hear another voice. It's a spirit and it sounds a lot like my mother, but in a weird way. Uh, and it says, I am here. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> so creepy. So, when I wanted to talk about was all those times where people said, you know, you don't have spirits around you, it's you that's making you sick with IBS. You know, um, it's you creating yourself. Now, now I feel like they're wrong because what if the real reason why I feel sick or a little off at times is because there's a spirit around me or Sammy and that's the reason why I'm getting nosebleeds that's well besides the tarot cards that's the reason why I have IBS flare-ups for, for the last three weeks now because I'm weirdly sensitive you gotta admit um Yes, I can't watch horror movies involving dogs. And if I do, I start crying hysterically because of the dog being the first vic- victim in a fucking horror movie. Like, why the fuck do you have to put animals in a fucking horror movie? A piece of shit. That's what you are. Um, uh, but if there's animals in a horror movie, I will walk out of the room until there's a decent room, decent scene. Where I can come back to. That's how that's how sensitive I've been, you know. Um, people tell me about animals dying in the news and I'm going, Why the fuck did I go out today? I don't wanna hear this shit. <laughs> and but I can't really tell that to the person so I feel like I'm gonna get throw up or have a flare up because people are telling me these things I don't wanna hear, like at all. You know, like, you finally get out of your house. Once you do, people have the most negative things they want to talk about that they watch on the news. You're outside with friends. Keep your negative shit to yourself when you get home. And just enjoy your life. What, what's the fucking problem? You know, I don't get it. Um, you know, because, okay, I seen another, something else on TV last night. Um, that people were getting stomach viruses in Tibet because, um, a shaman was, um, telling them, you know, um, it's not your health that you're getting sick, it's because you're being haunted by a spirit, and I don't know if that's the reason why. I've been, you know, sick with flare-ups um, for the past three weeks, but it kind of explained the heaviness I felt with Sammy, you know, uh, and how hard it was for us to get up on Sunday. So that's the weird stuff I wanted to talk about. Um, there are other people that don't believe in the afterlife, and some of them have, um, some of them are just assholes, so, you know, I believe in the afterlife because, um, I used to have weird dreams about it, like, um, my grandpa showing me things and stuff. And it's just like, okay, um, for example, um, years ago, um, I used to live in Ronkonkoma. But then asshole, don't get me started. So, um, and my brother had to live with my mom for a month. So, um, she wanted to go out to TJ Fridays, um, uh, with my, me and my brother. So, um, the night before I had this dream that we were ready at, um, TJ Fridays. And we were sitting in the booth, and it was me, and then my brother, my mom, across from me. And, um, 
In a bright mid conversation, everything freezes. Oh no, um, okay. I have to th- tell you this again. So, it's me and my mom on one side, my brother on the other. So, in mid conversation, everything freezes in the restaurant. And then, grandpa kind of, my grandpa um, kind of went in between my mom and me, like some kind of computer glitch. And then, looked at my brother and did one of these and said, You need to straighten up your shit right now. Uh, I know what you're doing. Um, I mean it. I'm go- If you don't straighten up your shit, I'm going to come up through the other side to smack you in the head. So, I didn't think of anything of it until the day I went to TGI Fridays. And, um, you know, this one, this is when pot wasn't illegal on Long Island. So, um, you know, I, t- I was talking to my mom before I was going to go to my mom's and from Rock Akuma. And I told her about the dream, and she goes, Oh my god, you're amazing! And I was like, What? And apparently she's doing my brother's laundry and then found a tiny thing of pot in his back pocket and then yelled at him about it and threw it away. <laughs> and he got upset, you know, because she threw away, threw away his pot stash. And uh, I was like, well, you know. <laughs> so, and the only reason why I remember that is because I wrote it down in some journals. And, um... When I write things down, I remember them. Don't ask me. So, <laughs> don't ask me why, anyway. So, there's like weird things, like I'll dream about heaven and like somebody opening up the clouds and it's, like sunlight and my grandpa showing me his home on a 25 acre property. It looks like that looks like upstate and he's taking care of like dogs. You know, there's many people that would have sheep and things like that. Um, there's my my dad and uh, my grandpa and his do- dog farm. And uh, he brings some of the dogs in the house. My grandma looks like Mary, Mary Tyler Moore in the 1950s and she's not too crazy about the dogs coming in the house. And um, and they have like a Brooklyn Brooklyn style home. So and then I wake up going, mm, okay, <laughs> you know, like, what, what, what caused me to dream that? Cause you know, um, I'll be watching like something a car- stupid cartoon, and you know, there's no influence in the cartoon that would make me dream that. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, I've had some really weird dreams, so, um, and I forgot where I was going with that. Well, I should get going, because I'm going to turn this flow on, and I hope I don't freeze in the pool, <laughs> because it's not exactly a hot day out, so, I mean, it's nice, but I can feel the air coming through my window right now. It's not exactly warm, so... Alright, um, that's enough today. Hope you guys have a good day. I don't know what else I can talk about. So, bye. You know you love me.